Hello and welcome back to With Your Family Wisdom at pppptime.com and it's another Fun Food Friday and today we will be doing portobello mushroom burgers with sweet, sweet potato, potato curly, curly fries. fries and as you can see honey is uh, kind of making the sweet potatoes a little smaller to put into this machine and I put a little picture right there so you can see the machine that we use although it's probably not uh, supposed to be <laughs> used with sweet potatoes, you think? No, I think uh, it's more for more softer vegetables, but we were able to get a couple of curls out of it. But, yeah, I think it would do great if you were trying to make chips. Absolutely. Chips. That was a surprise. After we made them, they did taste like those sweet potato, potato chips that we normally mm -hmm. buy. Mm -hmm. And we also cooked them in the um, coconut, coconut oil. oil. Man, that was, they were really good. And as you can see, we do we did get a couple of swirls, although the sweet potato was really way, way, way too hard for that machine. And plus, I don't know if I ever had a curly fried sweet potato anyway. Have you? No, and, and Have, the size of it was too big to fit in the hole. That's why I had to cut them down like that. Right, right. I don't even know if curly fried sweet potatoes even exist. So let's patent that then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember to check out the uh, benefits for the sweet potato as well as the benefits for the portobello mushrooms. And here's the marinade that we use. What is that? Allegro. Original marinade. And I think you should, for mm -hmm. best results, they need to marinate for about four hours. Four yeah. hours. Mm -hmm. Minimum four hours. Four hours. You may need a little pinch of salt, but not much because they have, uh, the marinade has uh, plenty of sodium in it. Plenty of sodium. And I did use a little vinegar. I mean, um, Olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is what we cooked it in. Cold press. Uh, yeah, because the uh, mushrooms don't have any oil. As you can see, there's a couple of our curlies that we are dropping into the fryer. And they really were tasty. That's something that we'll probably do on its own. Because of the benefits and because they taste good. And if you never ate uh, sweet potato, potato chips, try it. They are good. There's another one that came out really well. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, uh, the portobellas are in the sauce right here. And I didn't have a chance to let them drain all the way because we were kind of rushed to eat. <laughs> and uh, putting them in the skillet. But I will press down uh, pretty hard on them to try to get the remainder of the marinade, you know, out. You'd want to... Make sure that you press all the juice out because it'll make for a real juicy sandwich. So you want to make sure that you, you press them pretty good, and you did a good job of that. And for texture, to make sure that you're cooking it a good length of time to make sure that uh, it's not as, as fleshy. Uh, right. You just have to cook them to your texture of a palate. Uh, I just kind of let mine get kind of... Cr uh, I know it's well done because I cooked them for about... Oh, what, about four or five minutes? Not longer than that. Maybe longer than that, you think? Mm -hmm. But, you know, I just kept pressing down until they weren't spongy anymore. Mm -hmm. And there's a good flip. And as you can see, they're not burnt. It's just the gills on the back of the mushrooms are darker than the top. And also, the marinade's probably making them a little darker as well. You just sauteing it on top like you do a onion. Right, a small right, mm -hmm. right. As you can see, uh, it's a lot of juice in them from my marinade, and she's squeezing them out. But this was really a tasty meal. And, you know, get your garnishes ready, and you can just garnish uh, the burger just like you would your regular hamburger, whatever you normally eat. I normally like mustard and onions, but today I just went ahead and added a little romaine and tomato uh, just to have a little more uh, nutrition on it. Uh, but I think the thing that honey, the guacamole that honey made that we smeared on top, he also added uh, jalapenos into the guacamole. Yes. And that, and that was, was really, really good. And you also seasoned it with turmeric. Right. I did put a little you turmeric. Put a little turmeric right. on there, Which is what on mustard, one of the main ingredients for mustard, right? Right. And, and there's a lot of health benefits to the turmeric. Right. And if I think about it, I'll put the health benefits to turmeric. And there's the guacamole and some of the garnishings that we used. 
Another thing, too, honey used uh, Ezekiel bread. And if you use Ezekiel bread, you can get nine grams, about nine grams of protein. Right. Because uh, Ezekiel bread is very, really, very high in protein. Or you can get your whole grain uh, hamburger buns. They make whole grain hamburger buns as well. And there's this Ezekiel bread and that delicious guacamole with the jalapenos and the final. And this was really, really tasty. It was really, really, really. I would gave it three time thumbs up if I had three thumbs. It was really, really good. But thanks again for joining us for Fun Fruit Friday. And we'll see you again maybe next week. And remember, you are happy, healthy, wealthy, fit, and forgiven. God bless you.